Happy New Year's everyone. Today is January 1st, 2022 and I'm coming at you with another unboxing video. This time we got some parts for the drift car. Just got this package from Apex Race Parts. Um, I actually ordered it a while ago but I never really got the chance to unbox it till now. Uh, it's just two wheels but um, as you can see here, weight was 42 pounds, came all the way from California. I think I got this in a week, ordered it on Black Friday. But they're bronze and I'm excited to see what they look like in person. As always, before you guys start cutting, make sure you cut away from yourselves as you unbox your product. So today we have some parts from Apex Race Parts. Awesome box right there that looks like a 911 up front and probably like an E30 there on the left. These are their flow formed. Arc 8 wheels. I got them in 17 by 9. Offset plus 30, so you can still get some of that kind of cavity in there. This is what the wheel looks like with the cap on. Honestly, not a crazy fan of it. I think I might just go without the cap. I think even with the BMW one, it would, wouldn't go too well just because it's going to be like a white finish on there. But from a low point of view, you can see there's a little bit of concavity in there, which is awesome. Very reminiscent of the BBS RS2. Um, the other thing I would definitely say is it does not come with a valve stem. As evident right there. You can get one at any of your local parts stores. And then the other thing I would say with these wheels is that I wish they came in a in the E39 5 Series uh, bore. So if you don't know the difference, uh, most of the E36s and the E46s have the same hub bore, which is like 73.1 or whatever. And then the 5 Series actually had a slightly larger bore. So these will not fit on your BMW 5 Series. So just for reference, I intend to run 215 and 225 size tires. With the, my car, it runs a stock M52, and it doesn't really have enough power, in the dry at least, to spin 235 tires. So I, when I first drove it, I drove it with brand new 225s, and that felt really good. And then I have to try it with 215s. The track I drive out of is Englishtown, and currently I'm a C-level driver, so I'm just trying to get my bearings in the car and just figure it all out. Hey guys, so I'm actually gonna install these valve stems or tire valves from Slime. These are the TR413 right there. All you're gonna need is these valve stem tools right here and a valve stem. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take off this cap right here. As such, just spin that bad boy off. Okay, you're going to put it through the hole right here. Boom. All right, and once that is through, you are going to start by threading this on there. Make sure you get the threads on correctly. There you go, fully seated. Twist it all the way on there. Make sure not to scratch your wheels. And then just gonna pull it through and bang, sits perfectly. Uh, I only have one, unfortunately, so I'm gonna definitely gonna need to get more. And that's basically it uh, on this valve stem tool right here. This side you can put into your valve stem to take out this little thingy, whatever that is. Don't forget righty tighty, left loosey. But you can take this thing out and then once you put your tire on these bad boy full run F7000s, once you get that tire seated on there, you're going to add some air in there. Um, being that I am gonna be installing two 15s on a 17 by nine, you definitely will have a little bit of stretch and you might need to take like a tire cheetah or uh, you know, take one of those little brake clean and flame things to actually get your tire to get that proper seal on the uh, bead there. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching guys. Take care.